Hello. So it's our rest day and we're making an impromptu Home Depot trip to make more fun equipment. And today we're going to be making parallel dip bars. So right so, now... So yeah, we still got to cut all these stuff, so... <laughs> the baby carrying two long PVC pipes. So we're going back to the plumbing section to get the pipes cut. And the gentleman over there recognizes us by this point. So that the gentleman over there lent us his PVC cutting tool is so awesome. I'm really tempted to get one of my own. But I've got to measure this out another three feet. So these are gonna be the vertical part of the dip bars. Alright, just marking this area to cut. Alright, so again, three feet. <laughs> it's like a shark. Look at this. Even the shape is like a shark. Release it. Go around. Line it up. Oops. Oh. Where's mini your Spartan grip, grip? Mini grip workout. It's a perfect pip. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's harder when your hands aren't as wide to like open it up. So we cut everything and we actually realized we had um, four missing feet so we bought another 10 foot PVC. So the total um, footage is actually 24 feet. Now, and we'll show you how to assemble later. Alright, so we're home and now we have everything set up. I can tell you the final you will need list. So in total you're going to need 24 feet of one and quarter inch pipe. And you're gonna need four three feet ones, two two feet ones, and one and eight one foot ones. And then uh, you're gonna need four connectors, the T ones, four elbows, and eight end caps. So now all that's left to do is just to assemble it all together. So it's pretty easy, I think. You'll see in one minute. All right, so we just finished assembling this. We made a slight change to our original design. Um, we were originally going to have one foot on each side and have them detached, but we noticed that this one, having them connected, would actually offer more stability. So this is our final design. This is the one foot on the bottom, the three foot vertically, and then the two foot horizontal. So it's a little bit wobbly, but it's a lot of fun and we actually, it supports the weight pretty well. I'm scared, okay. I'm but it's, scared. A kind of, it's kind of wobbly, but we're going to show you what it can do. It's your cage! Okay, so we actually figured out how to use this properly now. Uh, yesterday when we first made it, we didn't adjust it. It's still wobbly as hell, but um, when you start from sitting position for the upside downs, it's actually pretty safe. It's gonna sound wobbly, and people are gonna be like, oh my god, but it's actually safe. Alright, so here it goes. There's the upside down move. It's also good for training your balance because it's wobble. Yeah, and then because it wobbles back up. See? Safe. Alright, your turn. And go. Yes, you're straight. Yeah, you're better at this than I am. Aru. Okay, in conclusion, we just did the second workout of this. And I think it's safer to glue the bases, which is what we're going to do. But aside from that, we figure out the balance and it's a safe tool to practice. But you could always have someone to spot you un until you're very confident. And then you can also choose to glue together the pieces. If you want more stability, that's what we're going to do. Um, and just get used to managing your balance. Mm -hmm.